All right, this is our first video for our first lesson entitled A Unique Drawing Experience with Kindergartners. The materials you're going to need for this lesson are crayons, markers, color pencil, some type of color drawing utensil, as well as light colored construction paper. I've gone with a stone color. Serena's gone with? Like a kind of beigey yellow. Beigey yellow. Looks very pretty. yellow on camera, though. Excellent. All right. <clears throat> This drawing is sort of like the scribble drawings we've done in class, only it's a directed scribble drawing. And by that I mean I'm going to be giving you directions as to what to draw. How you choose to interpret those directions and how you draw what you draw is going to make yours very different and unique from everybody else's. All right, you ready to get started? All right, here we go. You should have your markers or crayons in front of you as well as your paper. And then just listen to what I say and then however you interpret or believe you heard what I said and what you believe those instructions mean, that's what you draw. All right, let's get started. The first direction is draw four straight lines that go from one edge of your paper to the other. Four straight lines that go from one edge of your paper to the other, or to another edge, I should say. Everybody's going to be a little different because everybody's going to interpret the directions differently. If at any time you need to pause the video so you can catch up or if we move too quickly, please do so. All right. So this is what I came up with from those directions. Serena, as you can see, came up with something very different, which is awesome. That's what makes like it. Looks like a grid. Looks like a grid. There you I go. I didn't even notice that. All right, you ready? The second instruction is draw five circles anywhere on your paper, any size, five circles. I'm switching colors for this one as well. Hmm, I have an idea. Five circles, any size, anywhere on your paper. Take your time. Make it just like you want. If your circles aren't perfect, that's fine. Nobody's going to notice. In fact, sometimes that's what makes it even look a little better. All right. Oh, you got one more to draw? Go Sorry, I'm not being patient. Now. All right. So, again, we're going to show you what we've drawn so you can understand that the directions are the same, but the drawings are very different. Her five circles are... Mm -hmm. Corners and in the middle. And this is in the center there, mine are more random and different sizes. All right. The next instruction, are you ready? Yep. Okay. Is draw one curved line that starts on any one edge, goes around the paper anywhere you want it to, but ends in the middle somewhere. Okay. So one line that starts on an edge, curves any way you want to, all around the paper if you want it to, and ends somewhere in the middle. Could you, like, change colors during this? Mm, let's keep it all the same color. Okay. That's a good question. This way we get one continuous line, and okay. however yours comes out is going to be just fine. All right, and again, we'll show how different our interpretations were. Mine squiggles just kind of all around. Serena's does some zigzags, some loop de loos, and ends in the middle. That's awesome. All right. We're going to set these down. Now, you ready for the next direction? All right. Color in two of the circles, any color you like. Two of the circles. Choose any color crowns or markers you like. Color in two of your circles.
any two colors, any two circles. Just pick two of them and color the whole circles right in with whatever colors you've chosen. You done? All right. Again, we're going to show you so how much different hours are from each other. But again, Serena has, she's kind of gone with a symmetrical sort of design here where she's coloring one on each side. All right. Now, are you ready for the last direction? In the past, we've done scribble art. You all have done some scribble art before. And when we've done, it's sort of like that same sort of thing here. We've created little areas, all these little divided areas, separate areas. Choose any three areas you like and color them any way you like. You can use squiggle marks, you can use um, cross hatch marks, uh, you can color the whole thing in there completely, or you might layer colors over. But choose any three areas and color them however you choose. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Any three areas, any three colors you like. Hmm. You stuck thinking about the next color? Too many to choose from. Yeah, and I've already used a bunch of them, and I'm trying to not use the same ones. <laughs> I love the concentration and the effort you're giving. I hope you all are thinking about the colors you're choosing just as well. Everybody's is going to look different. Everybody's is going to be unique because you've interpreted the directions differently than others have. As you're working to complete your work, your, uh, finish your pieces, I want you to remember if you do one you really like or when you get finished and you, you find one that you really, really appreciate, send it to me on the Google Classroom. Let me know which lesson that you are completing, uh, either in the title when you load it up or mention it when you are... Uh, in your comments somewhere. Thank you so much. Also wanted to say we are really missing students. Uh, it's uh, nice to be able to communicate with you through uh, the Google videos, but I'd much rather have you in class. All right, you ready? No, it's taking me forever. All right, that's right. You can finish. And how you do yours is going to be different than I did mine. And and so, um, there is no wrong answer on these. If you, no matter how yours comes out, how you did yours, it's going to look just right. Okay, I think as soon as you finish that area in, we'll call these done if that's good with you. 
Look, there you go. All right. All right. We're going to look and at what we've come up with. This is mine, Serena's. I was going to Very color nice. That, All right. I did not get enough time. <laughs> I think they look pretty good. And again, this is a lesson you can do over and over again. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed it. Um, I encourage you, if you have fun doing art, there's 15 different lessons right now loaded. I'm going to keep loading some more up the next coming weeks. Uh, look through those lessons. Choose ones that challenge you and that interest you. Thank you so much for being with us today, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm so